For the following exercises, solve the inequality. Okay, so we'll work with the first one here. So if possible, find all values of A such that there are no x intercepts for this function, f of x equals 2 times the absolute value of x plus 1 plus a. Okay, so we want to find out no x intercepts. The first thing is that, well, what is an x intercept, right? An x intercept is when you have x being a number. So x intercept means that you want x to have an actual number. And that means that the y is 0. Okay, so x-intercepts, y's are always equal to 0. And remember, f of x is a fancy way of just saying y. So I can just rewrite this by saying y equals 2 times the absolute value of x plus 1 plus a. And now if I want to get to where there's no x-intercepts, I have to find the cutoff point. So I need to find out, you know, where there is going to be an x-intercept. So I'm just going to plug in a 0 for the y value and see what's up. So we have 0 equals 2 times x plus 1 plus a. Okay, I want to kind of isolate the x value here. So what I want to do is I want to get a to the other side. So it's a plus a. I need to subtract a on both sides. So in this case, I will have a negative a equals 2 times x plus 1. Okay. Now, the question is asking is that we do not want any x-intercepts. So that means that I need to make this into something that is not true. And we want to solve for all values of a. So that's another reason why I solved it to a. So a negative a would equal 2 times the absolute value of x plus 1. So let's just talk a little bit about what an absolute value is. Remember, absolute values are always going to only give positive answers out, or negative, technically, right? Now, this is saying that if this whole thing is going to put out a positive value, this side has to be positive because it's a positive, whatever value it is, times by a 2. So this side will always be a positive value. So you're basically setting it up by saying a negative a is going to equal a positive value. That makes no sense. So now we just have to separate a into basically three categories. A could either be a positive number, A could be a zero, or A could be a negative value. Let's see. If we plug in a positive value for A, so let's say maybe it's a four, I don't know, pick any number. Negative four equals, we know that this side has to be a positive, right? But by that information, a negative 4, because of that negative in the formula, will never be able to equal a positive value. So we know that if a is 4, there's not going to be an answer. There is not going to be any x-intercepts. So this is an important answer to keep. x has to be a positive number, where you will not get an x-intercept. Let's try out 0. Negative 0 equals 2 times whatever, a positive number, right? Now, technically, this could happen. A negative 0 is the same thing as just saying 0, because 0 is not um, positive or negative. So this could actually exist, because this could be, I mean, this could be a 0. It could be a positive answer or a 0, right? And then 0 times 2 is a 0. So this answer would actually work. You would get an x-intercept out. So this is not part of the equation here. Let's now plug in a negative. So if I say a negative 
four would equal two times a positive answer. Oh, well, two negatives equal, equals a positive, and now you have a positive answer. So that would also get you an x-intercept, which means that I cannot take this. This is the only part in which there is not going to be any x-intercepts. No x-intercepts. So all we have to know is that A has to be a positive answer. It can't be zero. So A just has to be greater than zero. And that is your answer. If you want to say X can be greater than zero, that's fine with me. If you wanted to start it off as being from zero all the way to positive infinity, but we have to exclude zero, so it's a parenthesis. It is not a bracket. Bracket means you include zero. And then infinity is always a parenthesis because it's a theoretical concept. So either of these two answers are correct. Moving on to the next one. This is probably going to be, oh, this is the opposite. So if possible, find all values of A such that there are no y-intercepts for uh, the same function. f of x equals 2 times the absolute value of x plus 1 plus a. So I'm just going to say, okay, this is the same thing as y, right? y equals 2 times x plus 1 plus a. And now we want to solve for a y-intercept. So that means that a y, oops, that means that a y has to be a number. And then who's going to be a 0? x is going to be a 0. So now I'm going to plug in a 0 for my x. Okay, so let's see. y equals 2 times 0 plus 1 plus a. And now let's just keep moving on. y equals 2 times the absolute value of 0 plus 1, uh, which is 1 plus a. I can keep going. y equals 2 times the absolute value of 1 is Absolute value is always going to give out a, a positive answer, so it's just 1 plus a. And then we have y equals 2 plus a. And if we want to solve for um, a, right, we would minus 2 from both sides. This would cancel out. So we have a equals whatever the y value is minus 2. So what does this actually mean? There's no greater than or equal to sign, right? This basically means that for every y value that you have, all you have to do is minus 2, and you would get out an a value, right? And if we actually drew a graph of an absolute value graph, it always looks like a v, right? And these lines always extend on into infinity. So it doesn't matter if we, you know, move the graph over all the way over to this side, the graph will still extend, right, on technically into infinity. And there will always be a y-intercept. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So the question is asking, you know, if possible, find all the values in which there are no y-intercepts. However, absolute value graphs are always going to be extending infinitely so that they will pass a y-axis. They will pass the y-axis. There will be an intercept. So there will always be an intercept. So are there any values in which there will not be a y-intercept? No. So this is not possible. There will always be a y-intercept. Always. There may not be an x-intercept, as we have saw here, but there always will be an, a y-intercept for absolute value graphs. That's for sure. I hope this makes sense. And that's the answer for both of them, all right? So there actually was an answer for this one. It was possible, but for this one, it's not possible. There's always going to be a y-intercept. So there are no values for a, such that there are no uh, y-intercepts. So hopefully this helped, guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought.
um, if you want, you can subscribe to the channel. That will help us out. And I, I hope you're enjoying these videos. I hope it makes sense to you. And uh, anyway, I will see you guys all in the next question. I hope you guys have a great day and keep studying hard. All right. Take care. Bye bye.